North Carolina is home to 37 species of snakes. Of these, only six are venomous and considered dangerous to humans. How can these snakes be identified and where can they be found in North Carolina? The most common venomous snake in North Carolina is the copperhead. Although they occasionally stray into areas inhabited by humans, copperheads prefer the underbrush of wooded areas. Their distinctive hourglass pattern helps them blend into leaf litter where they hunt for their prey. A close relative of the copperhead is the cottonmouth, also widely known as the water moccasin. Cottonmouths are so named because of their tendency to gape, that is, to display the bright pinkish-white tissue inside their mouths when threatened. These bulky, dark brown snakes are most often found in and near bodies of fresh water in the eastern part of the state. North Carolina is home to three species of rattlesnakes. Of these, the most common is the timber or canebrake rattlesnake. These snakes are found in a variety of colors from yellow, gray, and pink to almost black but nearly all have a dark brown banded pattern on their backs. Timber rattlesnakes rely largely on camouflage for protection and may not rattle unless approached very closely. They can be found in wooded areas of the mountains as well as in the coastal plain and on the outer banks. An increasingly rare venomous snake in North Carolina is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. This is actually the largest rattlesnake species on earth. Individuals can grow to more than 7 feet in length and can weigh over 20 pounds, although their average size is much less. The eastern diamondback rattlesnake has a loud, pronounced rattle that they may begin to sound at a distance of up to 30 feet from perceived threats. They are rarely encountered by humans, mainly in remote pine savannas in the southeastern part of the state. The much smaller pygmy rattlesnake is also seldom encountered in the pine flatwoods of the southern coastal plain, as well as in the sandhills. This snake is generally pink or dull gray in color, with dark brown spots. It is so small that its rattle sounds like a soft buzz, similar to an insect. These five snakes all belong to the pit viper family. They can be distinguished from non-venomous snakes by the combination of their broad triangular heads, elliptical pupils, and special heat sensing pits located behind the nostrils. North Carolina's sixth venomous snake, the eastern coral snake, does not display these characteristics, however. This snake has the same narrow head and vibrant red, black, and yellow coloration of some non-venomous species, such as the scarlet snake and scarlet king snake. Coral snakes can be distinguished from their lookalikes by the color pattern of their bands. If the snake's red and yellow bands touch each other, it's a venomous coral snake. If they do not, it's a non-venomous look-alike. Remember, red on yellow, kill a fellow, red on black, venom black. Now that we've gone over how to identify them, here are some ways to avoid unpleasant encounters with venomous snakes. Watch where you step. These snakes are adept at blending into their native environments and may be difficult to spot. Always wear sturdy footwear and clothing when venturing into wooded areas. Be careful when reaching into wood piles, yard debris, or other secluded spots where snakes might hide near your home. Wear work gloves and never reach into a dark space that you cannot see into. If you come across a snake in a developed area, such as on a sidewalk, driveway, or road, Leave it alone. The snake will likely wander away after a while. Venomous snakes are generally not aggressive and will not bite 
unless a threat comes into close contact with them. Never try to pick up or deliberately step on a venomous snake. Finally, if bitten by any snake, seek medical attention immediately. Snakes, including venomous snakes, are an important part of our state's ecosystem. They not only help to control the population of pests such as rodents and insects, but are themselves a food source for several predators. By exercising caution and respecting them in their native environment, we can help snakes continue to provide these benefits with minimal harm to ourselves.